The Maptitude Routing and Directions Manager is useful for finding a shortest path or a route to service several stops, but if you need to solve more complex routing problems with time windows, heterogeneous fleets, backhaul, mixed pickup and delivery, and route length constraints, then you can use the Routing Deliveries and Pickups wizard instead. In this map, I have already located my clients and my depots. Both of my depots are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and you can see that here in the Depot Open and Depot Close fields. My clients also have time windows in which they will accept deliveries that you can see in the open and close fields here. There is also a field with a number of units that I need to deliver, a fixed time for each stop, and a time per unit. So now let's return to the map and choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Routing Deliveries and Pickups. Choose Create New Vehicle Routes, then choose whether your routes will consist of deliveries, pickups, a mix of the two, or backhauls. Because I have just a single time window for each client and I want to deliver in one day, I can leave these two settings as they are and click Next. On the Stops tab, you enter information about the layer that contains the stops, which in this case is the client's layer. You can see that Maptitude has already identified the fields in the client layer with the name, demand, and service times. If my clients also had a field that contained the specific depot that delivers to them, I would choose it from the drop down list here. And finally, I can set a fixed time window to use for every client, or use the drop down list to specify the fields in my client layer, which in this case are open and close. Next, specify the fields with the name and time windows for the depots. Again, I can specify fixed times for all depots, or choose fields from the layer. If you have a table with information about the vehicles at each depot, with their capacities and costs, you could open it here, or you can manually specify the vehicles at each depot. Let's add two vehicles. I will click and drag in the vehicle count column to highlight both cells and set the count to two. I will also set a cost of 100, and I will set the capacity for the vehicles at 250. And I will assign one of these pairs of vehicles to Depot 1. So now I've set it so that both depots have two vehicles, each with a capacity of 250 units. Next, if you want to specify any required breaks or modify the cost options, you would do it here. I'm going to leave these settings alone and click Next. I want my vehicles to return to the depot when they have completed their deliveries, so I will leave this first box checked, leave the other defaults as they are, and click Finish. Maptitude determines routes that service all of the clients within the necessary time windows, displays them on the map, and displays details about them in the Routing Deliveries and Pickups Manager. With these buttons here in the Routing Deliveries and Pickups Manager, you can go back and modify the stops, depots, vehicles, schedules, or other options and rerun the procedure, create a report of the results, or manually modify the routes. For example, these four routes range in time from one and a half to four and a half hours. So I'm going to click this button to edit the options. Choose to balance the routes by time. Set a one half hour variability amount. And balance every route across both depots. Now, when I rerun the procedure, you can see that the routes have almost identical times. Click the plus sign to see details for a route. Right click on a route to export it to Excel, create a PDF report, or zoom the map to it. And that wraps up this tutorial on routing deliveries and pickups.